okay guys so in today's reading um i'm going to do as you read the title uh career advice like career reading and what you need to do what are your next step how i can like i'll try to guide you so how i'm going to do is i'm first going to take some cards uh tarot cards and read your situation so that you know if it's your pile or not and then I'll pull out the oracles and tarot again to get any type of advice for you. So yeah, we have pile number one here, which is the cosmic tarot. Pile number two, which is tarot. And pile number three, tarot of mermaids. So timestamps are down below and I'll see you at your pile. So pile number one. Let me just write down pile number one, your uh, timestamps, okay. So pile number one, Cosmic Tarot, I'm going to uh, pull out some cards and try to read your situation right now so that you, uh, you know uh, if it's your pile or not. So let me just describe your situation and then I'll uh, pull out some more for any type of advice for you. Pile number one, focus with me. Pile number one situation in terms of career. Pile number one situation in terms of career. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as well. Uh, and beware of fake accounts and don't believe any psychic who message you first. They are scammers, not psychic. Okay, pile number one. Um, okay, so first scenario that I'm seeing is that for some, you are actually working at a job uh, because with the hierophant it's giving me like you know there's a hierarchy so you have someone uh, over you watching over you you know and guiding you uh, but it's almost like uh, giving me is this a waste of time with the five of cups am i doing the right thing is it the right path i don't maybe you don't feel fulfilled it's like you have more to give but it's almost like you can't uh, Okay, so that's the first scenario. The second one is maybe some of you are actually studying and it's giving me the same vibe uh, as the scenario before where it's like, is it worth it? Like, uh, uh, it's almost giving me you study one thing for so long and then you kind of have this new idea coming through and you're like, but uh, I've studied, I've studied, I don't know, like uh, literature for so long because it is something that I actually like but now I'm feeling like maybe it's a waste of time because I want to do something else. Um, another thing that I'm also seeing, not sure how much of you, how many of you, um, maybe for some you were actually, um, maybe some of you got fired or you are deciding to leave um, a job or a study like a school i don't know underneath we got the world in reverse uh yeah it's giving me like uh yeah the the same it's they all have the same vibe uh, either scenarios because with the five of cups and the world in reverse it's like uh, waste waste am i wasting my time uh yeah not feeling fulfilled at all mm. yeah it's kind of restricting you because I feel like you're somebody who has a lot of plans for the future. So, okay, see if that resonates with you, uh, that's your pile. So, let's see. Any advice for my pile number one? advice for pile number one those 
to choose pile number one. Maybe you're feeling undervalued by your work, uh, where you are at. Because if you, if I look at this image here, everybody is in color but this dude here, and it's giving me that. You know, it's in the same like uh, color um, palette. Um, therefore, I feel like it's you here. It's like everybody is so like, yeah, that's the best thing ever. Or this, my boss, our boss is so cool, and you're like, oh, I feel drained. I don't know. I feel like I'm not at the right place. It's giving me that. So advice for pal number one in terms of career. A lot of cups. Mm -hmm. Four of cups and princess of cups. Not a queen, a princess. Underneath the chariot. Okay. Uh, pile number one, your advice. You first. Um, okay, so if you are actually studying right now uh, and you're almost near the end of it or you are starting, whatever it is, for those who are students, I don't think you should give up right now. That will be a bad idea. The reason why it, I feel like the reason why you feel so burden um and yeah like a burnout almost maybe not to that point to that point but anyway um is because you are not taking care of yourself in the right way and by that i mean i'll give you an example like you study uh as i said literature okay or philosophy right and you don't feel fulfilled because there are you are doing other things than like after study what are you doing are you going like directly back to sleep and then the next day is the same thing over and over then yeah that nothing is going to be fulfilling if you keep on doing that right i feel like there's other things that you can explore as you are uh, going through this path because to me it's giving because you feel that way, I wouldn't recommend, because of the Ace of Swords in reverse, to cut that out. Because you feel that way. Um, I think your f uh, emotion right now is mostly affected, yes, by whatever this is, like the job or study. But it's mostly because of you. It's, yes, the envi environment affected, but you can still work on uh, how you can fulfill yourself in other way if you are if you have a hobby maybe you should work on it as long uh, um uh, with um <laughs> oh my god i just had a brain fart um as you are also studying as you are also working there you can still make yourself feel more value valued by valuing yourself more you know what i'm trying to say um, so yeah, and for those who are actually um, in a job, um, and because to me that uh, scenario also works for those who are in a job and doesn't feel fulfilled yet. Uh, another thing is that if you got fired, um, then I will suggest you to basically look around you. Uh, I think there are more opportunities than you may think. It's giving me, uh, for example, you like you got fired or you decided to um, like anyway, like uh, leave and you want to do something, right? You are not sure what you want. It's giving me I'm not sure what I want. I'm not sure what I like, but that place I don't like. Right. And that's why you left. That's an example. And therefore you're like, I don't know, like at home and you're wondering, but what? <clears throat> sorry what are my passion what do i like i don't know what i like it's like i understand that feeling but but, but maybe look around because i i don't know why i feel like around you there's something that you can try and it's like you'll enjoy i don't know like your <laughs> there's an example here um your you live with your grandparents or you meet your grandparents and I don't know, like your grandmother is like knitting, uh, you know, the, she's knitting something 
and you're you're just watching her doing it or you kind of feel bored but it's like maybe that's a sign maybe you should try to knit with her maybe there i feel like there's things around you that you can try could be drawing could be i don't know like an instrument because it's like it's left around it's there but you are not looking at it right maybe some of you like i don't know that's random but there's a horse here but maybe some of you have the ability to uh, ride horses then do it uh yeah that was random but anyway mm, it's like you can do it yeah either way whatever scenarios you're in um to me it's like it's from you, you the the fulfillment needs to come from you not from the job itself or whatever it is because i feel like you need to still find yourself um and that's why you feel unfulfilled right now with the chariot here it's like you can get it actually you can actually manifest it you can actually you have more control than you think you have with the king of pentacle in reverse it's like maybe you give too much importance i mean yes it is important i mean to me i feel like it is important to have uh, money and wealth uh like the we the whole world <laughs> uh work with it uh you need to have some to survive but it's almost like it's like you know it's important but maybe you are giving it too much importance it's giving me in order to be happy i need to succeed in any type of job and get money but it's like your soul is asking you for something else maybe you need to do something on the side or try to work on something yeah okay anyway i've repeated myself so many times sorry um let me get the zodiac oracle to see maybe what kind of endeavors maybe what kind of hobby what you should explore let me see pile number one virgo moon pisces oh you can't see okay so pisces mm. yeah some we have pisces here so creativity maybe singing again as i said knitting uh like art whatever is creativity for you uh i think you uh maybe that will make you a little bit more fulfilled in terms of your career um because yeah I, I mean i've said like career advice but like it's mostly like uh, about you with the moon card also um um okay you don't see things clearly now like you are very analytic but it's like you maybe you need to tap in more with your emotion because Virgo is very like analytical they think a lot uh, maybe too much sometimes they are very critical of themselves uh, with the moon it's like you don't see it clearly like the moon is secret and to me it's giving me with the ace of swords in reverse you don't see things clearly right now that's why you need to tap in with your emotion Pisces the moon is also emotions and maybe your subconscious because it's telling you something else that is not in the mat material realm if you get what i'm trying to say <laughs> i'll take one last card here we got scorpio yes yeah, subconscious like you're it, it's giving me frustration like uh, you don't know what you want but it's like your body is as it's giving me my body screaming right now um yeah it's very uh yeah it talks everything is about emotion here like you need to balance your emotion and your logical mind because i have so many i have cups 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 cu i mean water 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 this is also a representation of the water sign the chariot uh so yeah it's talking a lot about your own uh, emotional fulfillment so you need to focus on that um let me get this one 
and maybe I'll take the I don't know manifestation maybe I'm not sure because I don't want it to be too long either because I do talk very slow oh my god <laughs> air element communication I thought it was the water element that's why I said oh my god but anyway um, let me just take one more Scorpio again. Maybe some of you are Scorpio, doesn't have to be. Oh, okay, there's. Well, good job for you, pal number one. You have three cards. We got Scorpio, I transform. So there is um, a big transformation happening right now in your subconscious, and that's why you kind of feel frustrated, uh, in my opinion. We got fire element, uh, desire, and air element communicating. Um, yeah, it's like maybe for some of you, you want to do something online, uh, do it, uh, but just um, uh, yeah, if you are still in a job doing, uh, do them at the same time, please. Um, and for those who are again fired or you left uh, somewhere maybe you need it's a confirmation to work on this uh, you could be a fire sign or an air sign doesn't have to be um, it's also giving me I mean communicating and desire you need to communicate what you want what do you want tell yourself what do I want is it this is it that and whatever it is I think you need to try a lot of different things because of I mean Pisces Pisces um, it's like they have no boundaries in terms of their emotions and creativity. Uh, so it's giving me trying many things at the same time, trying other things, this, this and this, and trying to find your own, um, trying to find what makes you happy. And that's what you need to focus on, like your happiness and your emotions. How does your body feel when you are doing something? Uh, that's a clue for you, pal number one. Okay, so what should I do? take okay manifestation oracle card from the monology deck any message for a pal number one? that's to me pal number one also i do offer private readings just check the description down below we got let your fears dissolve, cancer. Yeah, a lot of uh, emotion. Speak your world into being. We got the communication here and desire. <laughs> very, uh, it suits very well. And the last, uh, we got two. Uh, be real, full moon in Aquarius and reflect on your priorities okay so that's for with the burial and focus on your priorities that's for those who want to quit somewhere um that's your message here and i'll take just one i guess one fairy oracle i said i didn't want to be too long but yet I'm pulling all the cards. <laughs> so, pound number one. Advice for pound number one. Okay, that's too many. Pound number one. Okay, I got one here. We got Keeper of Secrets. Is it that? Yeah. Use your discernment, confide in a trusted friend, keep silent about knowledge. Okay, uh, that's a side note. If you, whatever this is, whatever you want to try, don't tell anybody. <coughs> Sorry. I know he said confide in a trusted friend here, but even that, I think you need to keep it to yourself. Okay, so that's very strong to me right now, even to friends. Or you think you have you are trusting friend I don't know just the reason why I'm saying this it's not me saying like oh there is somebody around you who not you should not trust that's not it um, I feel like 
whenever you put your mind to things and you still haven't done it like you still haven't put action towards it and you start telling somebody like even if it's a trusted friend and they mean no harm sometimes people can dissuade you by just saying are you sure just that just that it can make you uh, doubt yourself so uh, my advice here is do not tell anybody until you do it okay and even if you like want to tell somebody uh, like then try to be very strong into what you say and may your actions action correlate with your uh, words and what you want to do okay so that's it for you pal number one i hope it resonated and i'll see you next time maybe bye that was so long pile number two let's see career advice uh first i'm going to pull out some cards to see uh, where you are at in your situation right now uh, so that you can um so that you know if it's your pile or not Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also, beware of fake accounts. Uh, I only have the one mentioned below. Um, yeah. Also, uh, don't believe any psychic who message you first. They are scammers, no, not psychic. Okay, pile number one. Tune in with me. So let's see your situation right now in terms of your career, where you are at. Uh, pal number two, sorry. Maybe pal number one will resonate with you as well. So, pal number two. A lot of swords here with the king of cups in the reverse. Four ones, okay. Um, okay, let me just see. E okay, so what I'm seeing with your pile is that, first of all, you are thinking a lot. <laughs> We have a lot of swords here, a lot of air signs, Gemini, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Um, to me, it's giving me, I think a lot, I'm thinking, it's almost giving me, I mean, f for me, uh, it's too much already. Um, I think you almost need to uh, quiet your mind. I mean, I'm hearing that because it's like, uh, it's giving me like in your head, like, yeah, what if this? Okay, there's a huge like conference, uh, <laughs> like with different part of you and trying to understand uh, uh, what to do in your career. Mm. Okay, you know what? Let me because I'm I'm not sure here. Let me just take one card just one the sun with the wheel of fortune okay so maybe for some of you your situation right now uh maybe you were doing a lot of small things to me i'm hearing like it's giving me small job like small little like task doing a lot of things uh and maybe like having some money, uh, like gaining some things or even not sometimes. Um, because with the five of swords here, it's giving me, um, like, <laughs> the government doesn't know what you're doing. <laughs> Uh, it's giving me like how do you say that because we did had before the king of cups in reverse underneath there was the two of cups the four of wands which is family and partnership so it's giving me maybe you are doing something for 
uh, like your family, maybe your dad, because there was the King of Cups in reverse before underneath the deck. Um, it's like doing a lot of things that maybe it's not official. Yeah, that's the word, not official. It's not official, but you are doing a lot of things or small things. It doesn't mean that you are overbooked, right? Um, but you are doing something. But with the sun here, the wheel of fortune, we had the magician before. Uh, I feel like you know, like your intuition is, it's giving me, I, oh my God, I'm sorry pile number two because I'm quite like, I'm a little bit like frustrated because I don't know how to put that, how to pin uh, down what I'm feeling. It's like you're doing a lot of things, right? Not everybody knows what you're doing. It's like not, under like it's not official um but somehow you're cool with it or it's like you know that good things will happen even though it's not stable um in a strange way it's like you know that god has your 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 back even though it's not stable even though it's sometimes worrisome like sometimes you may overthink a lot but somehow you're okay with it or you're okay with whatever outcome will arrive because you are quite confident um, with the fact that you are being taken care of in some weird way okay that was very weird <laughs> um, to uh, say so pal number two if that resonates with you that's your pal if not, then choose another pile. Okay, pile number two. I wanted to say pile number one again. Pile number two's advice. Pile number two's advice. Pile number two's advice. Pile number two's advice. Oh, four cards again underneath we got the hanged man let me just put it right here then we got seven of wands the king of wands in reverse we got the five a lot of wands a five of wands in reverse and the knight of swords with the hanged man Okay, advice. Um, the way you are thinking, even though your intuition is telling you that everything is good, I, I do I do feel like, quote unquote, things are good, right? Like s good things will happen, but there's still some work here. Um, there's things that you need to do. And the first thing that I'm seeing is you need to work on... Um, yeah, I mean, the way that you think, it's, uh, it's almost giving me... Um, for example, if somebody asks you for a type of job that you're not... you don't want to, you're not going to take it, right? But it's almost to the point... it's. How do you say that? Is it? It's not overly confident. It's like there's better. Like I hear that word, there's better, or there's something else that you want. And what spirit is trying to tell you? It's like maybe stop that. <laughs> if I give you an opportunity, whatever that is, even if it's not perfect, the way you. Uh, vision uh, like envision it it doesn't mean it's not it it doesn't mean that you need to wait I feel like on the contrary you need to work on um, I mean I guess it's your ego um, it's not a bad thing you know your ego is not a bad thing but it's asking you to maybe let your guard down uh, maybe try to um, like if there's an opportunity coming your way, even if it's small, even if you're, n it's not going to be official, just take it. 
just take it like to me it's giving me like y you are confident that things are good right things are going to be fine and you know that spirit has your back and they will give you whatever you want right but whenever there's something else like a small gesture from spirit it's like yeah but i know that spirit has my back and i know he will manifest uh, they will manifest uh, that goal that i have right that job that i want that outcome that i want but it's not it so i'll wait because i know he has they have better right but it's like i'm still giving you something because you need some little money or you need a little bit like of experience please can you take it but it's like you're overly like it's like you're fighting whatever <laughs> this guy is giving you because it's like it's not perfect it's not what you wished for but it's like you you don't know like you you never know whatever that any outcome uh whatever outcome will come out of whatever we are giving you as an opportunity another thing also that i'm seeing um because we have the hangman so it's everything about your perspective uh i feel like sometimes you may feel like there's a like I mean, there is competition out there, right? But you don't know your own value. It's almost giving me uh, self-sabotage. I mean, yeah, I mean, I clearly see self-sabotage here. I don't, I mean, we all do it. Don't worry. Uh, it's fine. It's just that uh, we do, we have the King of Wands in River and the Knight of Swords. It's like whenever an opportunity comes to you, even if it's not perfect, you don't take it because it's not perfect, as I said, uh, or you feel like there's something better out there. But it's almost giving me if the better things come to you right now, you may not take it because you feel like there's better competition. There's com too much competition out there. So it's like even if we give you uh, it's like spirit telling you, we are giving you small opportunities and you are not taking it, it's not perfect, it's not what you want, then okay, I'll give you the perfect things, but whenever I know that whenever if I give you the perfect things, you are not going to take it because you'll overthink it, you'll feel like you're not adequate to it, you'll not appreciate it, or you'll feel like the, comp the competition is so big that you're not even going to take action with the opportunity that I'm giving you. It's giving me that. So you need to change the way that you're thinking now. I feel like that's why it's like spirit, like you're right. Like your intuition is telling you uh, the right things that spirit has your back. Yeah, it has your back, but you need to change your perspective in order to receive it because it's actually coming and you know it's coming. Then why aren't you preparing your mindset in order to receive it? That's what I'm seeing for you. Um, yeah, we underneath we had the Justice card and the Page of Wands. Yes, you are... <laughs> I'm sorry, palm over too. I'm screaming. Um, it's like, it's not fair. The balance is inadequate here. Uh, you are not... the Whatever you want to receive is not uh, balancing your energy. Your energy isn't as the as high vibrational in on the same vibration as what you want to manifest. So you need to uh, work on yourself right now, change your perspective, and maybe take it. That's my advice for you, pal number two. Uh, I'll pull out what did I pull last? Oh yeah, the. No, I don't feel like taking the Zodiac uh, Oracle, I'll pull out these, the Black Moon Astrology cards. Because to me here, I don't see it as like, could be a passion project, but mm, uh, maybe that's a message for somebody. Uh, but to me, it's giving me, you are okay with whatever will come, but you are not okay with it. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's more about mindset here pile number two so let's see if i can pull out more pile number two career advice Oh, 
I well, I took two. So we got Saturn, Truth, and Fifth House, Creativity. Um. Okay, Saturn is giving me change. So truth here, you need to change with the hangman here. So it's very much correlating to that. Uh, you need to change the way that you are seeing things. Like with the, oh, wait, Saturn and fifth house. So maybe you have a um, Saturn going through your fifth house in your chart. Uh, I'm still learning astrology, so <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you need to see there is some type of like uh i wanted to say acknowledgement knowledge acknowledgement like accepting some part something in your fifth house fifth house is talking about uh creativity uh it's also self-expression but i'll more say it with the uh maybe third house but fifth house could be about that self-expression creativity um, there's some truth about it, like there's something that you may need to have some introspection uh, in your fifth house. Like maybe check uh, whatever sign you have in your fifth house in your chart, uh, or maybe check on, you can check that on the on Google. Um, it's like you may have some uh, like truth about it if you ask somebody to uh, maybe like um describe it to you if you have any sign in it uh, i think you may have more clarity on how you basically um express yourself um what else saturn uh I mean, Saturn is also about like a uh, structure. Uh, from what I know, it's giving. It's about like uh, you know, like uh, ah, the law, uh, discipline. You know, it's like being very much in the boss. It's giving me like the higher front card. Uh, maybe you need to work on a tight schedule. Maybe you need to be a little bit more disciplined about the way you um, maybe spend your day. Uh, maybe for some of you because you are so like um, waiting on something better maybe you do have free time and maybe you kind of have to have a truth moment there and maybe like be more disciplined mm. Man, I forgot what the fifth house was. I, I know it's creativity, but there's another thing about it. I think there was something about school, I'm not sure. But anyway, there's some structure uh, that needs to come from you. Uh, pile number two, uh, work, uh, maybe plan your day. <sighs> anyway, that was a little bit, uh, I'm not sure about that. I'm not gonna lie. So let me get you some manifestation oracle. Okay. We got know your worth. Wait, did I say about worth too? I'm not sure. Yes, I, I talked about competition. It's like I'm not worthy. Okay, know your worth. New moon in Taurus. We got <laughs> take a reality check. Okay, with the with the Saturn here and the hanged man, yeah. We got honor your feelings. Okay. And that's too many. Let me just take, okay, that's way too many. Come on, just one. And new moon in Scorpio, go deeper. Okay, with the honor your feelings and go deeper. Maybe there's something in your subconscious. It's giving me, yeah, I mean, 
you need to understand the way that you think i think there's something like i don't know like psychological uh like maybe uh, deep trauma i don't know there's something there <laughs> and you need to uh, maybe check on that um we have a lot of like blue green um and a little bit of purple uh, green is about the heart chakra your feelings uh, it's also about money so maybe your feelings and in relation to uh, money uh, it's giving me a little bit of blue as well which is the throat chakra about communication and the purple one is about your intuition and inner knowing uh, so yeah it's it correlates with what I said before so let me get some fairy oracle for you call number two uh, it's too many okay i'll take it we got stolen <laughs> oh my god stolen in her sleep unaware unconscious unawakened okay yeah you need to uh wake up beauty and the beast unconditional love you need to know your worth and love yourself also with the stolen in your sleep maybe pay attention to your dream if you can but yeah it's it, it's a lot about uh, unconscious things like psychology maybe some like uh truth needing to come out and awaken like i don't know there's something here God, what is it? Gossamer? Gossamer princess? Communication, relationship work to be done. Yeah, uh, it's like, I mean, it's the same thing that I said before. You need to uh, communicate maybe better with yourself, maybe uh, relationship work to be done. So maybe your own relationship with yourself and communication, you need to communicate clearly. Uh, what do you want? Um, should I take something else? Do I have any other cards that I should take? I don't think so. Yeah, I guess that's it for you, pile number two. That was a little bit weird. I'm sorry if it was a little bit like lackluster. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, don't forget to give me a like and I also offer private readings so check the description down below for any type of information and I hope I'll see you next time bye and that's here. oh my god what is happening to my hand Like, I don't know how to grab things like the Powerpuff Girls. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just. drinking my water okay so pile number three if, cho if you chose the tarot of mermaids this is your pile this is your reading I'll first uh, pull out some cards to uh, see your situation and therefore it will be a confirmation to you if it's your pile or not um, and then I'll pull out the advice cards don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, also, I do offer private readings. All the information are down below. Um, also, beware of fake accounts. I only have the accounts mentioned uh, in the description box. And don't believe any kind of psychic who message you first. They are scammers, not psychic. So with that out of the way, pile number three, tune in with me. 
Paul number three situation career. Let's see. Paul number three career situation. Paul number three career situation. Underneath we have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, okay, so pile number three. Uh, either you have decided to um, choose another path, something that is um, maybe you used to do uh, in your childhood, something that you may have been doing like long time ago and then you kind of left it behind and now you've decided to um, go back to the uh, like uh, how do you say that like a uh, planning board and uh, maybe redo it again uh, maybe give another chance uh, instead of maybe working for somebody um, hmm. with the knight of pentacle underneath the eight of wands and the ace of pentacle in reverse Um, let me see. Uh, okay, another thing also that I'm seeing. I know it's about career, but I don't know why it keeps on uh, telling me in my head. There's a <laughs> maybe you've ended with a relationship, or maybe you've kind of left, uh, um, like somebody who was quite manipulative it's giving me like uh, i don't know you always wanted to do something and then whoever that person was always dissuaded you uh in doing whatever you wanted and now it's like i'm done i'll do it no matter what you're telling me that's also a situation that i'm seeing uh that's for somebody it's like knowing again your own words, even though you are not sure what will happen, you've decided to uh, work with it, no matter what other may say or dissuade you to do, whatever that is. It's like you're very sure about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what I was seeing for you, pal number three, situation in terms of career, even though there was a little bit of sprinkle about relationship. So anyway, if that resonates with you, that's your pal. If not, choose another one. So let's see, advice for my pal number three. Pal number three advice, the will. Queen of Swords, the Knave of Chalice. Is that the page? Oh, yeah, page. Uh, page of Cups, Queen of Swords. Yeah, I mean, okay, advice. Um, Okay, you need to stop undermining yourself. You need to stop whatever, whoever told you whatever this is, that was a manipulation, whoever, uh, okay, that was, that did resonate with me. Um, whoever were always telling you that you won't be able to do it or it's like, it's stupid, um, you, like, you can't do it, that's false, okay? They are but hurt. Um, don't ever, ever, ever think pile number three that you can't do it, you can't. Um, I know like because the to me like these three cards with the page of uh, cups in reverse uh, like because the page is like you know a uh, beginner like it's the student it's like almost like the baby like you are very maybe sometimes naive and maybe wishing too much uh, wishing on a star and it's like you're not really realistic but to me it's like um, don't be in that persona because to me it feels like people have been trying to put your s self-esteem down because they don't want it, you 
to see your own worth because they see the potential in you but they don't want you to see it because they know that you'll surpass them you are the queen of swords sorry uh, you need to be in this energy Okay, sorry, pal number three, my iPhone overheated. Um, so anyway, can't. <laughs> anyway, you need to tap into that Queen of Swords energy. You, n you need to basically forget about whatever people say to you. Like you don't care. You know your words. You need to be cutthroat. You, you know what you want to do. That's it. You are not like um, giving any type of attention to other people because you are so focused on whatever you want okay i want you to tap into that queen of swords you need to understand your worth because you are the queen of swords you are not this page you are the queen of swords whatever whoever told you uh, the opposite they are just butthurt they just wanted to manipulate you because they don't want you to see how much you can do the will we have the will here you are um like basically the the whole like spirit realm like angels everybody is here with you like your whatever your car um career projects you have passion project you will succeed because every it's like the whole like sp <laughs> it's giving me like the whole like spirit team is here for you it's like yeah let's go let's go like uh, we've been waiting for you like everybody is here everybody like you see you have an angel here oh can you see it like there's an angel here there is a hog there's everybody there's even like some type of orca shark whatever that is it's like everybody is watching you Uh, everybody's rooting for you with the three of wands like yeah it's like go for it with the hangman change your perspective uh on whatever they try to tell you we have the justice re in reverse so yeah you need to um wait why is it not focusing i don't understand that but anyway uh you need to forget about whatever happened and bring all that love back to you all that worth all that time that you may have put or uh, towards somebody or everything maybe type of like uh, uh, how do you say that like you've put more value into what other may have said other says about you it's like stop that with the justice cards in reverse here and the hangman you need to change your perspective and give everything all your attention all the value you have put on other people, put it back to yourself. Because you can do it. Definitely, pile number three. Um, let me get some... What can I get? Uh, astrology. Black Moon Astrology card. Let's see if there's anything I can add to it. Ooh, that's too many. Well, number three, let's see. Eleven house friends. Friends, huh. Maybe there was some type of friendship, maybe friends told you undermined you friends if it's not that like if it's not about like if you don't have a friend who has tried to undermine you uh but for someone out here uh, maybe it was about a friend and that's a confirmation if it's not about that um maybe focus more on your uh friendship um it's like you can rely on some people maybe collaboration because it's the 11th house 11th house is the people that you stay with the co-workers uh people that are here like it's not the party friends the 11th house is people who are here uh with you till you die <laughs> you know uh, like the soul tribe uh, it's also talking about co-workers so maybe there's something you want to do with um other people then that's a confirmation do it 
Uh, let me get some Monology Oracle. Cool your emotions. Aries. Full moon in Aries. Focus on the positive. New moon in Sagittarius. Be real. Full moon in Aquarius. And keep your heart open. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Cool your emotions. Okay, I have another side message for whoever is watching this. If it was nothing about somebody telling you, look, like undermining you uh it could be yourself you know undermining yourself and not believing in yourself and it's like stop basically um like self-sabotage and with the cool your emotion it's like your emotions are are needs to be cooled down in order for you to go back in that queen of sword energy focus on the positive and be real um, yeah, like don't get too much in your head, like emotional self, you know, sometimes you get overburdened, uh, maybe overworked with your emotions and it's like you don't know what to do because you're feeling so many type of things. Um, you need to like cool down, uh, focus, uh, be, maybe you need some balance of uh, like uh, rationality and spirituality. If you are too spiritual, maybe go back down, ground yourself. With the keep your heart open it's giving me keep your heart open to uh positive positivity um maybe you're somebody who um i mean yeah with the, the what i said before undermining yourself uh, maybe you're somebody who's too harsh harsh on yourself maybe there's some things here where you're not allowing your heart to experience positivity uh, or you're it's almost like you are not used to it maybe or it's something that's not logical <laughs> i don't know how to put words to that but it's like can you please focus on the positive even though it's not easy and i'm not talking about like uh, toxic positivity um, to me, with whatever cards I have here, I have here, um, I don't think you're somebody. Even if you tried to be to overly positive, in in reality, you're not overly positive because I don't think uh, with your type of personality that you'll be able to. So I guess even try to be overly positive because you won't even be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving me that so like focus on the positive it's like no matter the amount of positivity that you'll have just know that you won't it's almost giving me don't worry you won't be in the toxic positivity like you're good so like you have no limits in terms of positivity for you We got dragons, pet communication between spe spe species, animal, pets, magical companion, guardianship. Okay, so there's... If you have a pet, uh, or you used to have a pet, it's coming here. Like, they have a little uh, message for you, I guess. They just wanted to say hi. If you have a pet, uh, just know they are your little uh, guardian. They are here for you. We have fairy tale, letting go, attachment, moving on. Yeah, moving on from whatever that was here. Uh, yeah, moving on from whoever this was. 
uh, your old self time to move on just one last okay that's way too many catch me trust surrender leap of faith uh, into the unknown yeah trust that everything will go according uh, maybe not to plan but according to God's plan <laughs> yeah with the uh, leap of faith it's also the positivity to me uh, if you're not somebody who's used to positive thinking then just leap of faith is giving me maybe have some little bit like a leap of faith in terms of positivity if you don't trust it uh, time to like let it go let go of that uh, negative mindset uh, even if a lot of negativity has happened recently or lately or all the ways I don't know the way that you feel like it um, maybe try like uh, to focus more on positive mindset um, is there anything I hear like yeah but what am I supposed to do now <laughs> Okay, whoever said that, unless I'm crazy, let's see. Because I gave you some advice, you know, you are basically the shit. Um, you can do it, but now I guess someone is asking this next step. That was very strong, whoever said that. The world in reverse. I haven't done this for the other pile, so yeah, whoever said this, that was strong. The night of... okay, I don't care about that, honestly. The world in reverse, the high priestess in reverse, the queen of cups. Um, your intuition right now is not good. Uh, don't trust your intuition. Um, you should... F a queen of cups? Maybe a mother figure? What? Okay, so... Okay, again, Mercury retrograde, I guess my uh, phone just overheated. Anyway, so pile number three, your little side message. Your intuition is not right right now. Um, I think um, with the world in reverse, there's something uh, something to do with the internet that you may need to uh, rework on or rethink about uh, there's like if you're somebody who's on the internet or you're trying to do something oh my god I'm so sorry <laughs> I just <coughs> I was dying anyway if you are doing with something with to do with the internet and it's not working uh, there's reason why uh, the reason is because you need to sorry um, there's something to do with your emotional states uh, maybe you need to focus more on yourself um, like taking care of yourself uh, but I hear yeah but that's I took care of myself and that's not it um, then there is a queen of cups water sign could be a mother figure or maybe you know somebody who is a queen of cups like uh, cancer scorpio pisces doesn't have to be this person is motherly um, and so for some who resonate with that and it's not about you uh, then maybe ask this person some advice because uh, I think there's a there's a reason why it's not yet working because to me there is a blockages and you need an advice from a queen of cups and if it's not somebody if it's not a mother figure then it's not like whoever that is um, uh, could be any gender by the way uh, as long as they are nurturing um, if it's not that then it's about your own self uh, there's maybe you put less emotion towards it or less like feelings uh, I don't know if it resonates there's something about that uh, or maybe you need to care take care of yourself first 
uh, instead of focusing too much on that on the task it's like you are um it's almost like losing the sight of why you love this job like why you love this project it's almost losing it because the numbers aren't showing right and that's why there is an imbalance because yeah why why are you focusing so much on <coughs> on the views when it's about your passion you shouldn't care about that that comes later that will come like uh, why do you focus so much on on this are you losing sight of whatever feelings you had towards this it's giving me that so yeah take what resonate leave what doesn't so that was for you pile number three your little side message for whoever asked and uh, yeah i hope i'll see you next time bye